pen. You get like Mark. rid of the rebounding hex. They say wins for the first time when losing the rebounding battle. <laughs> so lost it 30 for 32. So I got, a, got that one off. And then uh, that's it for right now. Whoever wants to start, Mike. Or, uh, Nigel, can you think back to your last game winner? I can't. I can't. I didn't miss. A, I didn't miss a few of them. I mean, we go out throughout the year. We had a few Oklahoma, Kansas. A few of them didn't miss. Those hurt, but glad to be able to make one finally. You made your first seven tonight, and then kind of hit a cold stretch. Did they start running some different defenders at you? I mean, I I kind of expected that to happen. I mean, a perfect game would be beautiful, but I expected to miss some. Um, just my teammates were able to do really well and picking up the slack right then and there. Uh, we already keep up with them, uh, get some stops in the key in the end of the game, and then we we're able to make the last one. Mark Nelson <clears throat> mentioned getting some stops. It seemed like you guys ratcheted it up on the defense and got out and pushed it in transition a little bit more. Yeah, definitely. Uh, you know, obviously the last couple home games we, we lost, uh, it's been tight and we haven't got the stops at the end. And uh, you know, obviously we were really locked in on that side, that uh, last out of bounds play and the last play they ran. So we just wanted to get that stop in and have our, give ourselves a chance to win. Mike, with Selton out now for who knows how long, just how has your role changed? Um, I mean, it's changed because he was, he was like obviously one of our best defenders. So I got to pick up the site where, where we're missing there, but it's the same role really. Just got to get more rebounds than I was able to tonight. And, but it's always been the same. Just try to do whatever I can to help the team. And kind of, you, you mentioned the rebounds. Has that been a pretty big emphasis in practice is maybe not only defensive rebounds, but offensive rebounds as well? Because you guys had quite a few of those tonight. Yeah, the coaches prepared us well tonight. Um, we knew that they had shot blockers uh, and they get out of position, reaching and trying to get steals and whatnot. So we knew we'd be able to crash the glass tonight. And then, Nigel, I'm just curious, um, what was kind of the plan on that last out of bounds play? And then, can you kind of walk us through what happened? I mean, we, we ran the play for the shot in the corner. Um, we ran it previously in the game. Um, they were able to, you know, defend that well. Uh, I just kind of popped back to make sure we got a catch before the coach was trying to call a timeout. Um, I thought we were going to get the timeout, but we didn't. Marquise was throwing it over the top. Um, and I think it was like five, six seconds left. And I just knew um, I had to get something up. At least it was a tie game. Um, we didn't want to go to overtime and it was a long game, but glad we were able to put them away in uh, regular regulation. And then we had to get a stop again with two seconds left to make sure, you know, we sealed the game off. Nigel, that three was pretty far behind the line. Was that at about the edge of your range there? I, to be honest, I wasn't even looking really where I was at. Um, that's a shot that, you know, kind of the same shot I took with Kansas. I mean, kind of the same, uh, just on the other side of the floor, um, kind of deep. I mean, I was confident in the shot. Um, he started backing up. Uh, so I knew I could get the separation that I wanted and just followed through and went in. And Mike, you guys have been in a lot of these close ones. You finally win one. What did you think was the difference late? Um, getting stops. I think we were mentally on the right note. Our energy was right. And uh, I think we, we were really just locked in defensively. I mean, uh, as I said, Coach Lowry, this was his scout, and he prepared us very well on defense. So we knew it would be coming, and we were in all the right spots. One for you too, Mark. It seemed like in particular the second half, every time they tried to get away from you, you in particular kind of said, no, we're not having this. What, what was your mindset in the I'm second sorry, half? Sorry, can you say that again? I didn't hear you. It seemed like every time Oklahoma State tried to separate from you guys, you in particular drove to the basket, said we're not going to give in here. What was your mindset in the second oh, half? Oh, you know, <clears throat> I was just taking what it was given to me. You know, my teammates were doing a great job finding me, and obviously I was in good spots to finish at the basket. So uh, it was just great to get that win. Uh, for Nigel, Mike, Mike um, there, there are many fine Division One transfers this season playing basketball. I'm just curious if you could offer your thoughts on what Mark has meant to you guys as the D1 transfer this year. I think Mark you knows a very key piece to what this team is today, like our identity. I would say uh, Mark was a huge pickup for us, um, especially with the way he's able to stretch his floor with his size, but he also plays way bigger than his size. Um, He's quick for his size, so we can then there play small. But he, he gives us like that six eight type type of guy, where he he gets in, he's physical, and he can get rebounds, um, things of that nature. So we can we can play fast at the same time. But then again, we're not going to be very small on the on the glass because he he's he re, a rebounding monster. I would say. Yeah, I think uh, we're we're just lucky to have him. Uh, he's he's one of the biggest pieces to our team, our culture. He's the heart. 
and um, he brings it every day. And stuff that he's doing, I think it will continue. And, yeah, we're lucky to have him. <clears throat> Mike, when the inbound to Nigel gets to half court, are you thinking there's no way that ball's leaving his hands? He's taking that shot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking, I don't know. I don't know why. I was just feeling like we're six seconds left. We're in the timeout. And I was thinking whoever shot the ball, it was going in. And he got it. And like, yeah, I figured he was going to shoot it, but I figured he was going to make it too. So I was like, <laughs> I'll take it every time. I was watching it like this. <laughs> Didn't even touch the rim. Nigel, are you uh, repping some personal merch over here? Oh, yeah, yes. Yeah. Uh, it's just something kind of funny. I mean, people kind of kind of went with it. Just pushing pack? Push yeah, pack. yeah. Oh, I need one of those. Thank you. Okay. Push your pack. Okay. I'm pushing back. Uh, Mark, I get. Oh, I want to ask you about a defensive play where you didn't get the ball in the possession, but you switched the possession error. I think about 40 seconds left. How big was that? Ultimately, it ended up getting you the the second chance. Uh, they tried to run a a, a play for uh, number 13. I forgot his name to get downhill. Isaac. Uh, yeah. And. Uh, you know, they, they uh, go to that play. They went to it earlier in the first half. He was scoring on it. So uh, I kind of just uh, stayed with it and went over the top. And so Keith didn't have to guard him. And then obviously when he got uh, pretty far down in the paint, Davion came and helped. And then I think Bryce went out to the wing and I kind of just switched out like our perfect shell, just, you know, having my brother's back and closed out. And then Keith came by and, you know, does what Keith does. And he brought the ball down and stole it. So, uh it was just a it was just a great possession. We were all flying around and I think that was the moment like we knew we were gonna get this win, you know, just keep we were all flying around playing as hard as we could. We didn't want to give up another win at home. I lost. <laughs> and then Mark, I'm just curious. Uh I was gonna ask you, all three of you guys played more than 34 minutes tonight. Um, how are you feeling physically? And is that something that you're um you think you'll be able to consistently do towards the end of the season? Uh, I mean, I think I think I, I can do that. You know, I just do whatever the, the team needs. If I need to play that long, it's, it really doesn't matter. I'm just going to try to – I told Coach I'm going to try to get rebounds and just, you know, do whatever I can to help the team, so. And then, Nigel, we've seen you get into some some pretty uh, some pretty good shooting ry rhythm here recently, um, early in the season, missed some time. You feel like you're fully back to where you were at the end of last year? I mean, yeah, just, you know, it was a lot of help with, you know, our athletic trainers behind the scenes where I hadn't put a lot of work in with them to get me, get me healthy. I mean, there's was something that was bothering me and we were considering like, man, what are we going to do to get this better? Um, it was just a blessing to be able to come back, you know, be able to get right back to work. Um, hasn't been bothering me since, you know, the beginning of the year. So just really a blessing to have that, you know, move on, move past me um, and just finishing out this season. Yeah, shout out to Coach Luke. He's the real deal. Facts. Coach, Coach Luke. Big facts. Mike, despite some of the struggles this season, you guys are now tied for sixth place in the Big 12. Uh, what can this win do moving forward? Um, it means nothing if we if we lose, honestly. Uh, but it, it's going to be huge if once we start winning. So it's a step in the right direction. We're tied for six. This conference is crazy. It's pe uh, packed with good teams. Every game is important. So. All we can do is focus on TCU. <clears throat> hey, Nigel, that's the best game you guys have gotten from Davion in a while. He's healthier, got to play a little bit more. How much of a difference did that make in your eyes? I mean, it was a huge difference getting that inside presence. I mean, early he got a couple dunks, a couple layups that were good for us. I mean, every point counts. You see, we, we won by three. I mean, his, his points mattered for us. Um, I just think it just continues for him to keep getting in shape, um, keep working out like he's doing, um, getting better each day. I mean, we're seeing the progression in practice, um, how he's getting better to the back to the old Davion. And that's what we need out of him to be, you know, to take that next step in the right direction. Um, just get some good presence out of him and all our bigs. Mike, did you take any different mentality into this game? That's one of the more balanced stat lines I've seen from you. Um, <laughs> I mean, Coach was really just emphasizing passion and um, struggled the past the previous three games or whatever. Uh, so I just, we needed this win. and. My shots still weren't falling tonight, but Nigel had it going, Mark had it going. So I was just trying to do what I can out there to help the team.
you mentioned TCU. Uh, obviously, that game kind of probably sticks in your craw a little bit from from here. How how motivated are you now to go down there and get another shot at them? Anybody? Uh, either of you? Any of you? Um, I know we were pretty motivated. I mean, they came here and stole the win from us right at the end. I mean, that one hurts. Uh, we we got to be really motivated. We got to stick to what we know. Um, coming ready to practice tomorrow, uh, get a good practice in. That's that's kind of what the key has been. When um, we have good aggressive practices, we attack practice. We usually have a, a great game, so that's what we need to do before we go on the road, TCU, and then we can be victorious there. Anybody else? Oh, he, he hit it right there. <laughs> <clears throat> Thank you, guys. Appreciate it.